We're looking for some low-risk cash cows. Mark from Florida, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. Now, this show, folks, this show is where we work together one-on-one -on -one to try to meet or exceed your real estate investment goals. And today's show, I'm working with my man, Mark. Uh, Mark, you and I, we've already done a particular video you had sent me a couple properties you were interested in, and I didn't really like either of them for you. I thought we could do better, right? The goal here is to get you some low-risk investments, and uh, you're either going to pay cash or if you want, uh, it, you're thinking about tossing around the idea of financing it. You're utilizing non-recourse financing, and you're putting down 50%. So you may pick it up cash. You may utilize the non-recourse fin financing. But either way, we're just looking for some uh, some low-risk cash flow here, right? Just, uh, you know continue to give you some cash flow and the first property i found for you okay 925 elbon road cleveland heights 44121 listed right now for ninety two thousand five hundred dollars has been on the market for a little while 73 days as far as what it looks like let's pull up these photos okay all right, here, just, you know, nothing special. We already got the hardwoods in there. Both of these units are currently occupied. As for the rents, one of the units is a 2-1. The tenant there, they're paying 700 And the other unit, the upstairs unit, what's nice is they, um, they finished off the third floor, which is really cool. So we have three beds, two baths in that unit, and that tenant is paying 850 So we're bringing in a total of Fifteen fifty a month out of this thing. That's over 18 G's a year. And, you know, the units themselves, they look decent. I mean, you know, just so you know, of course, when you're looking at occupied units, they're not going to show super well. Uh, but, you know, nothing like major. When you ever do have turnovers here, the units themselves, they look fairly hardened, right? We already got hardwoods throughout. I mean, there's neutral paint, but like, you know, we're going to want to repaint it, but we already got like white trim. So, you know, it's just going to be like minor stuff, just like, you know, painting and stuff, uh, you know, sprucing things up. Might want to give a little bit of love to this bathroom at the next turnover. We could reglaze this tub, get it looking nice and white. We'll want to replace this sink. That's an old looking sink. We'll want to replace that bad boy. Uh, and then here's just the third floor unit. Um, nothing major. As far as down here, some bigger ticket items. Those furnaces, those are both fairly old. All right, these are probably at least 30 years old, if I had to guess. And then right here, just so you know, you're going to see this on the inspection report. The inspector's probably going to cite that. They're going to say that it's possibly may or may not be asbestos. Now, asbestos wrapping, it freaks everyone out. Everyone panics. They think it's like a, a deal killer or something of that nature. Just so you know, that tiny amount of asbestos wrapping, which may or may not actually be asbestos uh, wrapping, but that tiny amount there... Dude, that's nothing, really. Uh, all you got to do, for, well, first of all, just so everybody's aware, right? Asbestos is not dangerous unless it's disturbed, okay? It's not disturbed there. It's not falling apart. You're not you're not working on it. You're not ripping it apart. So it's no issue, right? The issue is like when it's in uh, floor tiles, okay? And then they're cracking and then the dust, right? That's a problem, okay? Uh, but that right there, it's completely undisturbed. So it's totally safe. You don't even have to actually do anything if you didn't want to. But if you did want to, what you'd want to do is you just want to encapsulate it. And that's a very simple process. You spray it down. Uh, to minimize any dust and stuff in the air, and then you just wrap over it with something else. It's super, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Low, low issue, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's just not a big deal. I just know working with investors, especially my West Coast investors out there in California where uh, the regulations, uh, <laughs> they're a little different out there. We're not going to get into that right now, but uh, they freak out when they see that. So I just want to uh, warn you that uh, that's what that is, but it's actually not a big deal, okay? Now, these units, they're looking pretty good. 
the cash flow it's coming in pretty well right now 1550 18600 as far as the next turnover yeah you're going to need to do a little work but hey man that's okay because the 32 we'll probably still rent that at seven, uh, 850 but the uh, the 21 when you do get another turnover we'll be able to increase that rent we'll get that rent up to about 750 so there's a little meat there as far as what the performance is going to look like right now with what we're doing, though, because we shouldn't even really necessarily be worrying about the next tenants because we already currently have tenants in there right now. Man, we're bringing in 1550 I anticipate spending approximately 938 of that every single month on estimated expenses. Now, that's our average, okay? What you're seeing here is the average, just so you know, Mark. Like, I don't anticipate there being a $77 repair every month. I don't anticipate spending... Uh, you know, not receiving $77 worth of the rent every single month, right? These are averages. We're calculating all this, right? Eventually, when the tenants do move out, right, we're going to be missing, like, you know, if one tenant moves out, we're going to miss $700, $850 in rent that month. So we're accounting for that. Repairs, when we have to do these turnovers, we're accounting for that. We're just breaking it down monthly, right? Uh, capital expenditures, same thing. Those furnaces, I already mentioned it, okay? Those are old furnaces, man. Those furnaces, uh, let's pull them back up on the screen so you can see, right? Oh, yeah, I get a nice frame reference, right? These suckers, dude, these are these are old. Just another thing. Let me talk to you about what your inspector's going to say because just so everybody else is aware, right, when you guys purchase this product, you do this MLS search analysis with me, this is step one of your due diligence. This is finding you properties that are going to work as monetary investments and me talking about the types of money you could expect, the types of tenants you're going to deal with, that type of thing, right? But this is just step one. Whenever we go under contract on these deals, we always want to make them contingent on inspection because what I'm doing, this is from my desk, right? This is from the Holton Wise TV studio. I'm not physically inside the property. We do have packages where my team will go in there and film the properties for you if you like, but you know, a more efficient and cost-effective way is to do the desktop version like Mark did, and then you're going to hire your own third-party home inspector, and that person's going to go through the property inside the four walls, understand exactly what's going on with that building, right? So I'm more of like handling outside the four walls. They're handling inside the four walls, and we're going to look through everything and see if there's anything we can't see uh, you know, from the Internet or from the studio, right? And what he's going to do when he inspects these furnaces, I'm going to tell you what he's going to say because inspectors, they all pretty much say the same boilerplate response. They say, these furnaces are past their useful life. Recommend having an HVAC technician take a look, okay? And let me just cut through the BS. What that means, guys, is your furnaces are older and they're they're past their useful life, right? Typically, you're going to spend three grand to replace one of these furnaces, and they're going to last you around 30 years. So we're already living on borrowed time. So you don't need to have an HVAC tech look into that for you. What you need to do... They work today, they work right now. You're going to continue to do nothing to them. Let them work until the day they stop working. Then the day they stop working, we're not going to pay a tech to go out there and try to fix them because we already know they're old. You're just going to replace it, right? And that's going to be about 3 k like I said, right? So that's where that uh, $77 a month that we're budgeting for our CapEx, that's where that comes in, right? We're not spending $77 every single month. We're just waiting for things like that to happen because every 30 years, you're going to have to do that, right? Every 15 years, you're going to have to spend $1,000 replacing those hot water tanks, right? Every 30 years, you're going to spend probably like $7,000 replacing that roof. We need to account for these. We need to calculate that stuff because we know it's eventually going to get us, right? So after... We take all of our expenses that we should anticipate us spending on average. We're going to bring home six twelve, okay? If we pick this up at the price I want to pick it up, which is eighty eight thousand dollars, right? Listed, uh, how much was it listed for again? Like ninety two five, seventy three days on the market. I think we could probably get them down a little bit. We're going to try to pick it up at eighty eight thousand, and we're also going to get them to make it POS clear. I haven't talked about the POS at this particular price. We want it POS clear. What that means is there's no city violations. More information on POS reports and what cities in the Cleveland market uh, are going to have them is going to be in the show notes below. I made a video specifically about POS reports. But for this price, I'm going to try to get you the property. 88 k POS clear so we don't have to deal with any of that BS, none of that jazz, right? So if we pick it up at 88 k brings in the money I anticipated bringing, that's an 8.3 cap, man. 8.3% return on your investment. 
And if you utilize your non-recourse financing with your 50% down, you know, of that $88,000 investment, $44,000 is going to be funded by you in cash, the other $44,000 by your lender, meaning you should have approximately $427 a month still clearing your bank account on average, which takes your cash on cash return a little bit higher, right? You're up almost at 12% now, right? You're uh, well over 11.5% there. So, Mark, I think this particular property is going to be a much better investment than those other ones we were looking at. Now, I've got another one for you that's actually a single family. We're going to do that next, but first we need to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. With our proven three-tiered flat rate pricing, customized plans for larger portfolios, military discounts, in-home consultations, and our centrally located office, it's no surprise that Ritworks is the property management company of choice for over a thousand real estate investors in San Antonio and Austin, Texas. We are a full service property management company specializing in single family homes. We take the time to meet you in your home and understand your specific needs. We then match you with the management plan that would work best for you. Click the show notes below or visit rentworks.com for more information. U.S. REIB is a full service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Hey, Mark, welcome back. I've already got the second property on the screen for you. 876 Selwyn Road, Cleveland Heights, 44112. This one, 59000 listed 25 days ago. And this particular property listed by an agent out of a place called Dream Team Realty. Now, as far as the photos go, this is a vacant property, right? And uh, it don't look terrible, right? What I like here, I mean, we got to do some work. We're definitely going to be doing some work. We're going to spend a little money on rehab. But what's nice out of this is these cabinets. I like these, man, because we don't have. This means we don't have to replace them or anything. This is just your Home Depot or Lowe's quality cabinetry. And you know what? These countertops, they're probably fine. This is going to be a pretty simple renovation. Just a lot of, uh, you know, paint and things of that nature, cleaning stuff up, making it look fresh, making it look appealing to our tenant base, right? Now they got carpet all throughout. Hard to say if that carpet's going to be good. I'm assuming it probably won't. We'll probably want to get a fresh coat of gray paint and like refinish off some hardwoods. You know, when you see these photos on the listings, they seem to look nice, but then you actually get in the property. Uh, you get in there and you see stains and gross stuff all over the carpet. So I'll, I'm going into this assuming we're actually pulling the carpets, repainting everything, installing a new vinyl flooring in the kitchen and the bath. Uh, we could work with these fixtures. They're not bad. We'll want to reglaze this bathtub, but, uh, you know, this probably is going to be fine. Uh, the toilet, you know, I don't know. Maybe we replace the toilet. Maybe we don't. Uh, but just like a lot of cosmetic stuff, right? Nothing, nothing major. And then when we do that, the house is going to look super fresh super clean and it's going to be very attractive to tenants here's a quick photo of the mechanicals right uh, just for a frame of reference that hot water tank if I had to guess it's probably somewhere in the five year or so old range and that furnace looks to be around 10 years old if I was guessing uh, more information on that of course would come out in your home inspection nice updated electric panel so our big ticket items appear to be taken care of quite well now this particular property, though, I don't want you to spend that much money, 59900 I don't think you need to spend that much money. Outside of all the cosmetic stuff I just talked about, the particular seller here wants you to assume the point of sale violations. Unlike the last property where I think I can get that baked into the cake, I think I can get them to give you the property POS clear for the price we're paying. This one, these people have already said, hey, we're not fixing anything. You have to assume the point of sale violations. So that's going to provide us the opportunity to negotiate. So I pulled them up on the screen for you here. But, you know, it's it's minor stuff. It looks like it's worse than it really is. Like, you know, properly secure water lines, dude. That's like 
minor stuff that my guys are going to be doing when they're in there, like, uh, you know, put a T fit and going to the hot water tank. This is just minor stuff. Install a carbon monoxide detector in the basement, right? These are all things that my team, they're going to have to do to your properties anyway before we put tenants in them, right? My team, before any tenants move into a property, we make sure all the appropriate amount of smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, are installed, working, have charged batteries, things of that nature. So a lot of stuff on this particular list is just like minor cosmetic stuff that we would have to do anyway. Like, you know, proper place to tub surround, like just, just stuff like that. We got to make stuff look good and fresh for these tenants anyway. So just a lot of stuff that would happen in a nice cosmetic renovation. Getting the property ready for tenants is required to do on the city point of sale. So with all of that said, my plan for this property, Mark, I would like to see us negotiate to take it as is, pick it up cash, or, well, you're, you're possibly thinking about financing. If you do finance, I think you should finance after we do the repairs. But more on that in a second. So as far as negotiating with the seller, right, with the, the Dream Team Realty agent, I think we say, hey, man, cash offer, we'll take the sucker as is. Now, when I say as is, that doesn't mean we're not going to do inspection. Though. You're still going to get an inspection to make sure there's nothing we don't know about right as far as what i've just cited right you know you're going to do the inspection and if it comes back all the same issues i just mentioned great cool we move forward with the deal but if they say hey there's a foundation issue uh you know it's going to be x amount to fix right that's a problem we need to reevaluate things but you're just doing that to verify you know exactly what you're getting but assuming Everything goes off without a hitch. We say, hey, man, as is offer, we're going to check it out, make sure there's no major issues. But we could do 45 k as far as clearing off that POS. We'll assume it. And, you know, by the time you clear off that POS, get the property renovated, rent ready, looking good to our tenants, I think you're going to spend about 15 grand. So that's going to put us all in to this property for 60 k Now, after we did that, we should be able to put a Section 8 tenant in here for a thousand bucks a month or a cash tenant either or either or would work fine i happen to like the section 8 program quite a bit in this neighborhood though because it just really like gives us access to so many more tenants man section 8 i know there's some markets in the united states where there's not a lot of section 8 demand in cleveland holy crap man dude there's like lines of section 8 tenants when you provide a nice fresh clean renovated house dude we will renovate it or get it rented rather immediately man and we'll get a thousand bucks pretty easily so that's 12k a year coming in on this of that 12k a year i anticipate spending approximately 6,876 of it right approximately 57 percent of the revenue is going to go towards their expenses plus us saving money for future expenses saving money for the vacancy and not payment saving money for those capital expenditures saving money for those turnovers right saving money for when uh we do have to evict tenants because that's part of the game right so that's all going into your pocket right now but we're saving that right so after we account for all that it's going to clear free cash flow 427 a month right total investment 60k we get an 8.5% return on your capital, right? You're going to be putting safely over $5,000 a year in your pocket. And after we renovate it, if you decide you want to uh, refi, pull some of your cash back out, use it for more investments, doing what you're doing with your non-recourse financing, 50% down, right? So 30 stays in the deal, 30 goes back into your pocket. After you pay off the new mortgage, it will increase your cash on cash return to 12%. Now, if you are to refinance it after we do those repairs, odds are actually very good that the bank um, will appraise the property higher than the 60k you have into it. I, I wouldn't be shocked to see it get appraised for like 75,000. So it becomes some type of a bird type deal. But I can't guarantee that. I don't know when you're planning on refinancing it, if ever. And, um, you know, appraisers are goofy, this or that. But I can tell you this, if we had a fully renovated turnkey property like we're gonna have with a tenant paying a thousand bucks, we would easily sell that here on Holton Wise TV for 75,000. So the value is approximately 75,000. So if a bank appraiser didn't weigh too heavily on what you paid for it, because that'd be the thing, right? You do your refinance, but they're they're looking heavily at your purchase price of 45,000. So sometimes it's hard for them to, you know, 
get the value so high uh, as far as they're concerned, right? Because again, they're not working for you, man. They're working for the bank. The bank's goal is to reduce their risk. The banks want the properties to appraise for as low as humanly possible, right? So it gets a little tricky. So I can't guarantee you that they would appraise it for 75, but that's, that's our approximate value. And if they did, man, your cash on cash return would be through the roof because you're getting a ton of money pulled out of this sucker. So for those reasons, Mark, I think both of these properties are going to work for you. I think the returns are, you know, just nicer than the uh, previous two we looked at. And we're in an area that's still low risk, man. Cleveland Heights, very low risk. If you check out, uh, just Google this, guys, the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I graded all the areas uh, in Cleveland, in the whole Cleveland market on an 8F scale, right? A, super low risk. F, super high risk, right? Cleveland Heights, I got that as a B. It's a pretty low risk area. I don't anticipate a lot of issues with the tenants. So both of these investments should chug along, man. So let me know uh, if you like these, if you want to move forward. Uh, myself and my team will move forward, represent you. We will work for you and you alone uh, in getting, uh, you know, your offers accepted by the sellers. We're going to try to negotiate, right? Both uh, properties I've targeted you at price that's lower than the list price, so I can't guarantee they'll accept it, but that's what you have us for. We're going to try to negotiate on your behalf. That's why these 10 property packages are so nice, right? You know, you get us working for you and for you alone. We get to go back and forth, and if, you know, these deals don't pan out just like the previous two you sent me, that's okay because we're going to be looking into more properties for you. And you know what? You might be watching this video, and you might be thinking like, hey, man, that's cool, but you know what? I want a little bit more cash flow. Maybe I'm going to take on a little bit more risk. Let's see what the, the C-class market has to offer me. Give me your, give me your take on C-class properties now. I want to make a little bit more money uh, type of thing. So we, we have options here, Mark. So let us know what you'd like to do, and uh, we will go from there. And if you like the single family uh, you know, versus that multifamily, you know, let us know what you want to do on the next video. Maybe we'll do two singles on the next video, or we'll do two multis on the next video. It's up to you. you know, we're working for you, and uh, you know, there's properties out there, so we'll find them based on what you're looking for, and uh, we'll analyze them accordingly, and maybe we make a move, maybe we don't. Everybody else, if you are interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one like Mark is, just real quick, I want to show you guys before I get out of here. Uh, you just go to HoltonWise.com. Let me pull this bad boy up. All right. You guys click on that property search for sale tab and you go down here right here to the MLS search analysis show. These are all the packages guys, right? We have all kinds of packages for you. Uh, we got a big old sale, like I said, the 10 property package. I think that's the smartest one, but, you know, maybe you only want to do a couple properties. Maybe you found a property, maybe a wholesaler sent it to you, uh, another realtor or something like that. You just want my take. I could look into that. You know, like I said, we could actually get my film crew into these properties for you. Or if you just want my MLS access and you want to run through these properties and analyze them yourself, so I have that available for you guys too, right? You know, if there's investors out there, you guys are looking for seller financing. I've got access to single-family seller finance deals, multi-family seller finance deals, uh, five-unit-plus apartment building seller finance deals, right? So if you guys want my direct MLS access to all the seller financing out there in the Cleveland market, I got that. That's cheap, man, 50 bones. If you're looking to do flips, right? We've broken down flips for you and given you my MLS access, right? We got flips in our A neighborhoods, B neighborhoods, C neighborhoods, D and F neighborhoods, right? So if you don't want to spend the big bucks and have me work with you one-on-one, -on -one, you just need access to my data as a broker out here in Cleveland. I have given it to you guys. So all that is on the property search for sale tab when you go to HoltonWise.com. That's enough out of me, though, for today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. 
We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.